Okay, so this is attempt number two. The screen is a little bit loose this way, but basically what I did was I removed these nuts that are holding this middle part underneath down about maybe like that much, half an inch or so, to even out the bouncing area. So um, it seems to have worked better because most of this got cleared out on its own. So let's try this again. Mexican jumping beans. All right. Wow. Let's see here. And it does look like most of it is the small stuff is collecting underneath. Some of the bigger flakes are going down there, but not a lot, so that's good. The other thing I'm noticing is that the really, really super fine stuff is coming out through the cracks. See, I had to put this here into this bead. I'm debating whether to leave it like that or not, because I honestly don't want this stuff. This is too fine for the for the uh, pressing buck, so it's kind of handling it on on its own. <sighs> wow. Okay. Well, looks like it works. A um, couple of things that I would like to fix up. I'm really thinking now about making a uh, a cover. A cover that has. A funnel-shaped opening in the in, in the upper portion. In other words, like basically something that goes this way, and then leaving an opening about that much right there, with a funnel on the outside to, for me to let stuff flow inside. And then when it gets on the inside, it doesn't bounce around and fall out like how this stuff is. The other thing I'd like to do is try to see if I can get um, um, one of the guys here was mentioning about the. Um, it's called the moment. In other words, bringing, bringing the motor up closer to where the action is happening, and that might 
reduce the amount of vibration that's happening because it really doesn't need to, need to bounce that much. It just needs to go around in a circle. And that's how most of the ones that I've seen online work. So this motor is really strong. Technically what I could have done is I could have actually made this wider and give it more of a field. But this is good for now. It's working. And uh, what I think I might do is test because I have a feeling that not everything is being separated from this stuff. Not all of the small particles. Most of them are. See, like, see right there? There's still some small stuff that could be separated. So I'm probably not getting 100% or close to 100% efficiency. But wow, there we go. Neat.